Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. I believe that this is a time where it makes a lot of sense to be excited about what is happening in crypto markets. And I understand that people have been a bit spooked about price action over the last few days, but from a historical perspective, what's happening is pretty damn normal. And I still firmly believe that we are in a bull market, including the stock market. Crypto moves in tandem with the stock market. So I still have a strong expectation. Bitcoin moves higher, hits a new all-time high, and finally, with conviction breaks above, uh, altcoins ultimately follow full-blown alt season. Uh, and as far as XRP, oh, let's talk about XRP. I'll, I'll just tell you this at the outset of the video. Um, there, I'm going to share with you perspective from, um, I think, three or four different XRP chart analysts. But one of them highlights, you're going to want to see this. He highlights a chart formation, which is unfolding right now. And it's happened before. And the last time this happened, it resulted in XRP increasing in price. He says 62,100%. So you can kind of guess, I'm sure, uh, what time period he's talking about. But let me show you exactly why he's like, uh, nope, the same thing's happening right now. And there's reason to believe that this is finally the way XRP since the last all time high has never been so perfectly positioned to finally reach a new all time high. And I continue to refuse to believe that the all time high on January 4th, 2018 was it. And that's the best that it we'd ever see as XRP holders. That's absurd to me for a ton of reasons. I mean, a growing ecosystem XRP remaining in the top 10 coins by market cap, like all this additional utility developers, uh, you name it. Uh, total value locked increasing, waltz increasing, all this stuff. But no, that was it, and we're never going to see it again. Never. That doesn't compute. That doesn't make logical sense. That's my opinion anyway. But before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. As I record this video, XRP is 49 cents. Bitcoin's at $65,175. Uh, 24 hour low for XRP, 48.8 cents. And Bitcoin, 24 hour low of $64,892. So, um, even though this isn't horrendous as far as I'm concerned by any means, uh, people be more scarred than yesterday. Here's the Crypto Fear and Greed Index at 64 out of 100. So, yes, still feeling like greedy sons of bitches, but. Yesterday, it was actually at 74. Um, now, this is um, this actually only updates once every 24 hours. So I, I wish it were you know more frequent, like even every hour or something like that. So the next big update is one hour and 53 minutes from now. Um, we'll see what it looks like. I wouldn't be surprised if it's lower or, or maybe just hovering around where it is. Because uh, things sure as hell didn't get better. We'll just say that. Um, well, well, I say that in terms of price action because that's... Like, that's what the typical limiting retail speculator looks at. And um, it's not like they're doing a multivariant analysis. Like, they're, they're typically looking at uh, one like one, <laughs> one piece of data, basically, the price. That's pretty much it. And then they base their feelings and emotions and important financial decisions on that. Like, what's it doing directionally at the moment? If it's going down, it's time to panic sell. If it's going up, let's FOMO in. It's a little simplistic, and that doesn't tend to work out so well, but, you know, people gonna people. Uh, here is Chart Analyst Credible Crypto uh, with continued optimism, and I think for good reason, and he looks at all sorts of data points to come to conclusions. There's a reason he is so uh, so well followed. I mean, at this point, he's got, what, 399,300 followers on social media platform X, and I'd say well-deserved. Uh, and he's, he's, you know, nobody's perfectly right. And when you're talking about chart analysis, it's about probability of outcomes. And sometimes the improbable happens anyway. So you can't be right about everything, but my God, his hit rate is high. And so he shared this post talking about Bitcoin. My bullo brethren, the bears have surrendered and laid down their arms. $60,000 remains unbreached. The bulls remain standing onward. And so he has been saying that, um, you know, he believes that by the end of end of July, you're going to see Bitcoin above eighty thousand dollars, and he says that if Bitcoin drops below sixty thousand dollars, that would invalidate uh, his expectation in terms of chart analysis. And so he's that's why he's noting that level of sixty thousand dollars. Like it hasn't happened, moving to the upside, and he has said that with strong conviction. In fact, he shared in a separate post 
that he bought, uh, here's, as he wrote, uh, picked up another tranche of Bitcoin call options, this time with an August 30th expiry and 80K strike. About the same cost as my previous July 26 expiry calls, this tranche will serve as insurance in case my timing is a bit off on this. And so, as I've shared, um, he expects July, uh, by the end of July, Bitcoin to be over $80,000, but he acknowledges, of course, there's a chance, because you don't get a perfect hit rate, uh, there's a chance that the timing could be off even if he's correct, and so he bought more just in case, but with a different timeline, the August 30th instead. Here's a post from the Nijin Tropic account. Now, this is an account run by a couple, the two co-founders of Glassnode, the on-chain analytics firm, which I think is just fantastic. I'm a big fan of Glassnode, and so these two guys are running this account, and you're going to like what they say to have here, keeping in mind that the entire asset class moves in tandem, so if you, even if you're like me, and XRP is the coin that you're most interested in, or one, one of your favorites, whatever it may be. Uh, if you're wondering, is it going to go? Well, just keep in mind that the entire asset class moves in tandem, and XRP is part of this asset class. So are we going to have an alt season, though? Well, here's what they had to say. And this is an ETH BTC chart. Uh, the, the last week, crypto investors have been in despair. Crypto has taken a hard hit, but... Does that mean that the alt season will not occur? That is not what we see. ETH BTC, which of course means ETH priced against Bitcoin, is the ratio to follow. When ETH BTC rallies, we normally see alts rallying as well. The ratio seems to have been in a major bull flag for some time. It has rallied to the top trend line and seems ready to push on. Alt season seems to be coming very soon. And so just keep in mind, although nobody knows for sure what's going to happen in terms of price action with any asset, um, these are not fly-by-night individuals. These are respected individuals in the crypto space running an on-chain analytics firm. And I think they, I really do think they do just fantastic work. I've been following for years and years and years. And so they're just sharing their open, honest opinion. And we've seen this behavior before, as indicated on the screen here. When ETH BTC rises, then what happens? And again, the asset class moves in tandem. So no matter what coin you care about most, and for me, it's XRP. It's my largest individual crypto holding. Uh, yeah, good news. It moves in tandem. So if this is indeed going to go, just buggle up. Here's a post from chart analyst Mikey Bull Crypto. We shared this chart, which is a market cap Bitcoin dominance percentage chart. And he wrote, hashtag altcoins. Bitcoin dominance is currently on macro, a retest, as mentioned, as I mentioned earlier. The resumption of its downtrend will be massive for alts, hence patience is needed. And so you do ultimately want to see that. Uh, Bitcoin price can, can continue to go up even if dominance goes down. That just means that altcoins would be outpacing, which happens during alt season. And you can see, uh, you know, look, here's the symmetrical triangle that he drew. Uh, his perspective is that it has fallen outside that damn bitch and it's going to move on to the downside. There's this post from uh, the blockchain backer and he wrote, perfect behavior for altcoin market bottom structure. And he shared a link to his recent video, which I did check out. Now, I just, I wanted to mention this. So I'm sure a lot of you caught his video because we have a lot of overlap between our audiences. And um, I'll, I'll just say this. And I like this. I really like this about the blockchain backer. He is very careful about the words he chooses to, to describe what he believes is most likely to occur. So, you know, if you hear the blockchain backer saying things like he's getting excited, understand he doesn't normally talk like that. That's something to pay attention to in my opinion. And so he's very careful with his words, which I respect and, and happy to see that. It's, it's certainly sure as hell better than the opposite. Uh, you know, you know the types out there, the influencers, boom, every new post, oh, boom, you know, I can't stand that crap. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, so he's very even keeled about this stuff. And he said, you know, in his video, and I'm just kind of paraphrasing here, but he's like, you know, the you know, coins kind of held, held their ground yesterday. This is a good sign. That's, that's what he's been looking for. So if there's a continuation of that, eventually you would expect ultimately a kind of a, you know, move to the upside if this indeed occurs. So he finally said, and he was, this is from from today compared to yesterday, it's it's night and day in terms of the delivery. He's just stating he's starting to get very excited. That's basically what he said. 
And there's a whole bunch of other, you should check out the video if you haven't yet. But I just thought it was noteworthy because, um, and he he certainly has articulated that he believes XRP will be a part of this, but uh, this is the make or break moment. And so if we do see coins continue to hold, then we can maybe finally start to get excited about potentially seeing expansion in the crypto market, which is exactly what we want. And I'll tell you, if that happens, again, you better believe XRP is going to be a part of that. There was this post from Charting Guy said ETH and XRP both hit their bear market bottom on this day, June 18th, two years ago in 2022. And so we posted that yesterday and I just came across it. So I wanted to highlight that. And I knew it was a, I knew that XRP hit its bottom in June. I just couldn't remember what date. I didn't realize though that, and I'll take his word for it. I didn't realize that ETH and XRP both hit their bear market bottom on the exact same day. That is interesting, is it not? I mean, I'm not saying it necessarily, I just find it interesting. Like, not that it necessarily means, I don't know if we can glean too much into that other than uh, the asset class moves in tandem. I mean, that's just, you know, not that you, do ex you would expect every single market bottom for these two coins to sync up like that. But uh, yeah. And then he also said this, ETH ETFS one approval and listing and Ripple XRP lawsuit settlement slash ending will both happen any day now. And both are not priced in at all in the crypto market, shakeouts always precede good news. Okay, bye. And so, look, I've said many times, if we get good news in the SECV Ripple case and the remedies portion, and the market responds to, to the positive and takes a, okay, fine, I accept that. I understand that could happen, but I will just say again, I've said in many videos, that's not logical. <laughs> I don't think that matters at all because XRP already has legal clarity. And I fleshed out a ton of ideas and that's how I won't do it here in this video. But that said, I acknowledge it's certainly possible that upon conclusion, especially in uh, at times if we were kind of primed to go anyway, a straw that broke the camel's back. Okay, cool. People getting exuberant for reasons. Maybe people not fully understanding exactly all the intricacies of what's been happening in the SECV Ripple case. Maybe they're not following it as closely as you and I. Okay, fine. I could totally see that. But I will insist if that happens that it's irrational because it will be. It won't make any damn sense. It won't. It, it whatever happens in the remedy portion of the lawsuit will have just about zero impact in terms of long-term viability of XRP. So what are we talking about here? Then there is this post from J uh, chart analyst Javon Marks, and this is what I was referencing at the outset of the video. Check this out, and if you can look at the screen, it's worth it <laughs> if you're not driving or something like that. But he says, uh, XRP continues to hold and showcase a highly similar, uh, similar hidden bullish divergence that previously, uh, 2017 to 2018, led into an approximately 62,100% climb with the noticing of prices nearing alternative major converging slash breakout points and this divergence occurring, a bullish breakout to the upside is looking extremely likely and it may lead into yet another significant upside climb. XRP into the tens, uh, 20s, so he's talking in terms of dollars, uh, and even higher may be coming sooner and at a greater pace than many think. If that indeed occurs, like this will not surprise me in the least. Again, I've never seen XRP so primed uh, since the last all-time high, almost six and a half years ago at this point. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun, right? especially with the SEC lawsuit. Good time. Killer time. Everybody, everybody's just enjoying the hell out of that. But um, you can see what he's talking about here. Hidden bullish divergence. And he's saying that's the same thing playing out here. And I'm assuming that this is RSI relative strength index at the bottom, even though it's not labeled. But I'm not a chart guy, so I'm not pretending. But uh, I just noticed that uh, most charts, I, maybe it's just by default, uh, you've got the... Um, uh, the price action up here, and then frequently it's RSI or, or volume. So um, I'm, I'm assuming that's that's RSI. I don't know. Again, I'm not a chart guy. It doesn't matter. Uh, look, this is why I love my investment strategy. Like, you don't have to be in the weeds to that degree. Because, look, it, there's so much data to prove this. It, it's true of equities, too. If you just hold and don't tinker, you just hold, then eventually it's worth way more in the future. Just having exposure to the stock market, having exposure to the crypto asset class doesn't matter. So it's coming. And you know, the blockchain backer, he's, he, he shared, I shared in a video uh, the other day, he had, had a recent post. Um, the post was probably from yesterday too, or maybe the day before, but he was just providing an update, various things. I mean, it's very, it's actually pretty similar to what analyst Javon Marks here is saying. 
It's like, you know, last time we had situations like this, and there are various metrics cited in the post, which I shared in my uh, video from yesterday. Last time this happened, XRP basically melted faces. That was 2017. And so there are multiple analysts saying this right now. So it doesn't mean it happens literally tomorrow, next week, next month. I don't pretend to know. But it, we are at that moment where any day you can wake up and it's just happening. And to me, that's exciting as hell. That is the moment we're living in. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Lambo.